MGF provides steel road plates in either plain steel or with anti-skid surfacing and four handling points. Available in 2.4 meter by 1.2 meter and 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter panels. Road plates are designed to cover trenches in carriageways. At no point should the road plate be transported using the bucket and blade of the excavator. Steel road plates are extremely heavy and a suitable lifting plan must be in place prior to commencing works. It is the customer's responsibility to ensure that no one carrying out the works puts themselves in danger throughout the installation and removal process. It is recommended to read Traffic Advisory Leaflet 6-14 using road plates at Roadworks, published by the Department for Transport. The location must be assessed for suitability prior to installation. If road plates are used to bridge over a short trench, then the additional loads induced by the traffic must be taken into account in the shoring design. A suitable four-leg lifting chain should be attached to all available lifting eyes on the road plate. Ideally, timber chocks should be placed in between road plates. If chocks are not available, then the plates must be individually prized apart to gain access to the lifting eyes. To access the lifting eyes, a jimmy bar should be inserted under the top plate to prise the plate up. A timber chock should then be carefully inserted so a lifting chain can be attached to the lifting point. Great care should be taken during this operation to ensure the hands or fingers do not get trapped between the plates. It is recommended that two people perform this operation. Once each chain hook is connected to the four corner lifting points, the road plate can be carefully moved to where it is to be installed. Place the road plate on timber chocks. Ensure that the plates are supported by at least 500 millimeters of earth and sufficient bedding material on each side of the trench. Also ensure trip hazards have been removed. The lifting chains can now be removed from one side's lifting points. A jimmy bar should now be inserted between the plate and the ground to take the weight of the plate while the timber chock is removed. Ensure this is done safely. The plate can then be carefully lowered and this action can be repeated on the other side of the road plate. If the plates are recessed, then ensure that any gaps between the road plate and the ground are suitably backfilled. If the plates are raised, then the customer is to ensure a suitable means of transition is implemented if required. The customer is to ensure that the plates are suitably anchored down to suit underlying ground type. Ensure that traffic only passes over the plates in one direction at any given time and be sure that only a single vehicle has contact with any plate at once. To remove the panels, first remove all ground anchors. Using a jimmy bar, prise one end of the road plate up and insert a timber chock underneath. Repeat this with the other side. Once both lifting points are accessible, attach a four-leg chain and lift the road plate and place on timber chocks, either in a suitable storage area or directly onto a wagon. 